Hello, thanks for watching Gumball Gold, and this is financial advice for you bulk vendors out there. Experience is your best teacher, and um, some of you are more experienced than me and smarter, so I really, I really want you to comment down below about what I'm about to say. And happy 24 to y'all. The previous years have sucked financially for the world and the economy and everything, and I don't see it getting better. The best word I can think of for 24 would be the year of chaos. Uh, what's going on in the Middle East It's going to make the economy get more expensive. You know, uh, fuel will go up, shipping go, everything goes on a big truck before it hits your store. Makes everything, the prices raise. We know that from experience. And uh, I really feel China will invade Taiwan, just icing on the cake, and it may get worse than that. And I want to have this talk with y'all to see if you will join me in my New Year's resolution. And in bad times, you need to hedge yourself financially. And no disclaimer like your favorite YouTube Financial guru just kills me. They, they always have disclaimers. This is not financial advice. They're afraid of someone suing them. <laughs> I'm not afraid of anyone suing me for saying what I'm about to say. But the other day or yesterday, I went out and I had a collection. I hit a few machines on the way to my Airbnb. Came back with $140. And this is my resolution. One roll of quarters from each collection, I'm going to take to my local pawn shop and buy three solid silver dimes or whatever a roll of quarters will buy me and precious metals. Start off small, uh, and maybe grams of gold if they don't have the old, you know, silver dimes or quarters or whatever. And every time I make a collection, I'm going to do that. I don't see the strength of the dollar going up in 24 I see it going down and I just want to hedge my bets financially get some precious metal under my belt for the year and I know someone's going to comment down below invest in cryptocurrency and Bitcoin and I just personally cannot do that I, I have to feel and touch and have access to my money. I don't know if you can understand that. You know, uh, the younger generation, you got to admit, young people are gullible. That's why these gurus on YouTube are so rich. Not from their business practices that they preach, it's from, <laughs> the, you know, the advice that they're selling. They're selling, these are professional salespeople and Young people are gullible. They believe salespeople. They don't look behind the curtain. But, you know, I will admit I'm not the smartest person in the world, and maybe Bitcoin is the future. Um, I just don't trust it personally. I've watched documentaries how it's the, one of the biggest scams of our time, and I, I believe those documentaries. Another financial piece of advice going into 24 is get out of debt. If you have any debt, get it paid off. Now, trading a roll of quarters for precious metal, I think we're all capable of doing that, each collection. And financing gumball machines or anything in, in bulk vending, it's an all-cash business. There, there is no excuse to put these machines on a credit card. Tomorrow, Saturday, I have a young man coming down from up north that's selling me two rhinos he bought brand new. They're still in brand new condition with two cases of gumballs. I'm paying $250 plus his gas, but those two cases of gumballs are going to make the, the machines free with a little profit. <laughs> he was selling them at 25 cents a turn. I'll be selling at 50 cents. So uh, I'm not going to do the math for you and bore you right now, but I'll come ahead. The machines will, they'll be free. 
I have uh, another video in the past where I drove up into the territory of Tennessee and did the same thing. Two rhinos and two free cases of gumballs. But comment down below if you think I'm right on debt in this business. You, you do not. There's just no excuse for that. And I've seen my fellow comrades on YouTube with their collection videos talking about should I call out their names? <laughs> a few videos back, they said bulk vending wasn't sustainable for them because, in my opinion, they're growing in all these different directions and not staying true to the course. And there's a lot of other factors of their failure. But they're broke. And they're putting these machines on a credit card. Or they may be financing, you know, we all go to candymachines.com website and they have financing available. You know, I think that's just ridiculous. Uh, please get out of debt, comment down below if you think I'm right about bulk vending, financing anything. The, these are performing assets on location, not in your bedroom or the closet somewhere. Have them on location. No matter what, they're making money. You don't have to be on a schedule with these machines. Um, just please do not use debt as a way to leverage in this business. Um, I found out through some, I don't know how many sources in the past, you can Google it. Only 7% of people build wealth by leveraging or using debt. Uh, don't be that 90 something percent of people that fail that's in foreclosure bankruptcy especially in 24 come the i i really have a good feeling that it's just going to be a very chaotic year and not better than 23 because what's going on with the economy and the world and everything but i do look forward to your comments i do answer all of them uh, look at the history of all my videos. I do answer everybody. And this is a serious video for me. Okay, thanks for watching. I'm back out reading your comments and the mail. Bye-bye.